Your pants feel tighter. You wake up exhausted. The scale keeps climbing. There's a type of fat wrapped around your liver, pancreas, and intestines right now. Not the soft layer you can pinch. This is visceral fat, hidden deep in your abdomen, releasing inflammatory chemicals into your bloodstream daily. These chemicals interfere with insulin, raise blood pressure, increase bad cholesterol, and boost your risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and stroke. Certain foods can help your body target this dangerous fat naturally through peer-reviewed science tested on real people. Today, I'm sharing 11 scientifically researched foods that help burn visceral fat. Every one tested in clinical trials, measured with CT scans, verified through lab work. Stay for the simple daily checklist that makes using these foods effortless. All right, let's get into the foods that help your body burn this dangerous fat, starting with number one, chili peppers. Chili peppers contain capsaicin, activating heat production through thermogenesis. When your body produces more heat, it needs more energy from stored fat stores. Applause One study tested participants in a metabolic chamber for 36 hours. They received 2.56 milligrams of capsaicin with each meal, roughly one gram of red chili pepper. Results? The capsaicin group maintained resting energy expenditure and increased fat oxidation compared to the controls. Fat oxidation means your body pulls energy from stored fat, not just recent food. Capsaicin activates TRVP1 receptors that trigger metabolism to use fat as fuel. You don't need extreme spice. A pinch of chili flakes on eggs, sliced jalapenos in salads, or cayenne in soup activates this effect. Start small if sensitive. Tolerance builds over weeks. The goal isn't heat torture, it's consistent small doses, signaling your metabolism daily. Next, food two, berries. Blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries contain anthocyanins, compounds giving them deep colors and changing how cells process energy. Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry research shows anthocyanins activate AMPK, your body's master metabolic switch. When AMPK turns on, cells shift from storing to burning fat. Anthocyanins improve mitochondria function, cellular powerhouses converting food to ATP energy. Better mitochondria means more efficient fat burning. Journal of Functional Foods tested people with high visceral fat. Those consuming anthocyanin-rich berries daily showed measurable body fat improvements and waist circumference reductions over 12 weeks. PLOS One studies found regular anthocyanin intake associated with lower inflammatory markers and improved insulin sensitivity, both essential for reducing a visceral fat. Eat a handful daily. Fresh or frozen both work. Anthocyanins stay stable through freezing. Stir into yogurt, blend into smoothies, or eat as snacks. Consistency activates these metabolic pathways. Next. Food three, green tea. Green tea contains catechins, especially EGCG, epigallocatechin gallate, specifically targeting visceral fat. A landmark obesity journal study tested 240 Japanese adults with visceral obesity for 12 weeks. One group drank green tea with 583 milligrams of catechins daily. Controls drink a beverage with only 96 milligrams. CT scan measurements showed the high catechin group had significant visceral fat reductions, total abdominal fat reductions, and subcutaneous fat reductions. Participants lost an average of 7.7% of total abdominal fat area. Journal of Nutrition tested 132 overweight adults during exercise-based weight loss. Those consuming 625 milligrams of catechins daily showed greater abdominal fat reductions than controls with caffeine but no catechins. The mechanism? 
EGCG slows norepinephrine breakdown, a hormone signaling fat cells to release stored fat. When this signal stays active longer, more fat burns. Green tea's natural caffeine increases daily energy expenditure. Two to three cups daily shows results. Regular green tea or matcha, both work. Hot, iced, or blended, all deliver benefits. Form matters less than consistency. Next, food three, resistant starch. When you cook rice, potatoes, or oats, then cool them, starch molecules rearrange through retrogradation. This changes structure so digestive enzymes can't fully break them down. They move to your large intestine where beneficial bacteria ferment them, producing short-chain fatty acids. These improve insulin response, steady blood sugar, and reduce inflammation. Nutrition and metabolism research showed resistant starch improved insulin sensitivity by 33% in four weeks. Better insulin sensitivity helps switch from storing to burning fat. Cook a batch of rice, potatoes, or oats. Cool in the fridge overnight, at least eight to 12 hours for retrocadation. Use next day. Reheating works, resistant starch stays intact. This explains why overnight oats are metabolically superior to regular hot oatmeal. Next, food five, fermented foods. Sauerkraut, kimchi, plain Greek yogurt with live cultures, kefir, naturally fermented pickles support your gut microbiome. Your gut microbiome is trillions of bacteria in your large intestine, helping digest fiber, produce vitamins, regulate immunity, and control metabolism. When gut bacteria are healthy and diverse, digestive and metabolic systems work efficiently. Fermented foods contain live beneficial bacteria, increasing gut diversity. Diverse microbiomes send healthier signals, regulating blood sugar, reducing inflammation, and influencing visceral fat storage. World Journal of Gastroenterology research shows people with diverse gut bacteria have lower visceral fat, better insulin sensitivity, and reduced inflammation markers. Add a serving to one meal daily sauerkraut or kimchi with lunch, Greek yogurt for breakfast, fermented pickles with dinner. Rotate through different types weekly. Different fermented foods contain different bacterial strains. This variety builds diverse, resilient gut microbiomes. Next, food six, flax and chia seeds. These seeds are rich in lignans, soluble fiber, and plant omega-3s. Lignans help balance hormones. Soluble fiber slows digestion, preventing blood sugar spikes. Lower insulin makes accessing stored fat easier. Omega-3 ALA reduces inflammation, improving insulin sensitivity. Journal of Nutrition followed participants consuming ground flax seeds daily. After 12 weeks, significant waist circumference reductions and decreased visceral fat versus controls. Add one to two tablespoons of ground flax or whole chia to yogurt, oatmeal, or smoothies. Make chia pudding by mixing seeds with milk, sit 10 minutes, sprinkle on salads, soups, eggs, or toast. Critical, use ground flax seeds. Whole ones have hard shells passing through undigested. Chia absorbs whole or ground. Next, extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil contains oleocanthal, an anti-inflammatory compound working similarly to ibuprofen, but gentler and natural. Chronic inflammation interferes with insulin function. Reduced inflammation improves insulin, helping switch from fat storage to fat burning. The PREDIMED study, one of nutrition's largest trials with 7,000 plus participants over years, showed regular olive oil consumers have lower visceral fat and better metabolic health. Drizzle small amounts on salads and cooked vegetables, used for low to medium heat cooking. High heat reduces some polyphenols, but olive oil stays stable for everyday cooking. 
For maximum benefits, add fresh to finished dishes. One to two tablespoons daily provides research-backed amounts. Next, food eight, lentils. Lentils crush hunger through their soluble fiber and plant protein, taking hours to digest. Soluble fiber forms gel in your digestive system, slowing food movement. This keeps blood sugar steady for hours and prevents rapid hunger signals. Journal of the American College of Nutrition showed lentil eaters felt significantly fuller and consumed fewer calories at next meals versus other carb sources. Buy canned cooked lentils or cook dried batches. Toss into soups, stir into curries, add to salads. They absorb flavors from seasonings. A half cup at lunch keeps you satisfied until dinner without afternoon crashes or cravings. Next, food nine, oats. Oats contain beta-glucan, soluble fiber forming gel lining your intestines, slowing digestion and carb absorption. Slower absorption means smoother blood sugar, lower insulin spikes, less fat storage. Slow digestion keeps you full and energized all morning. American Journal of Clinical Nutrition meta-analysis found oat beta-glucan significantly improved insulin sensitivity and reduced visceral fat in metabolic syndrome patients. Make stovetop oatmeal using steel-cut or rolled oats. Try overnight oats. Mix oats with yogurt, chia seeds, milk. Refrigerate overnight for ready-to-eat breakfast, metabolically superior to hot oatmeal. Bake into bars or blend into protein pancakes. Regular consumption provides consistent benefits. Next, food 10, apples. Apples are rich in pectin, soluble fiber, absorbing water and forming thick gel in your stomach, slowing stomach emptying, steadying blood sugar, prolonging fullness. Studies show people eating apples before meals naturally consume fewer calories without conscious restriction. Appetite Journal research, eating an apple 15 minutes before meals reduced total calorie intake by 15% automatically. Pair apples with protein, almonds, almond butter, peanut butter, or Greek yogurt. This combines pectin's blood sugar benefits while protein prevents insulin spikes from fritz sugars. Apples make ideal portable snacks requiring zero prep, no refrigeration, providing natural sweetness without added sugar. Next, food 11, fatty fish. Wild-caught salmon, mackerel, sardines, and anchovies are loaded with omega-3s, EPA, and DHA, helping build lean muscle while reducing visceral fat. Protein requires 25 to 30% of its calories for digestion through thermic effect. Fish provides high-quality protein with this metabolic advantage. Omega-3s reduce cellular inflammation, improve insulin sensitivity, and help partition nutrients effectively. More energy builds muscle, less stores as fat. American Journal of Clinical Nutrition showed participants consuming fatty fish twice weekly had significantly lower visceral fat and better metabolic markers. Aim for two to three servings weekly. A serving is palm-sized, four to six ounces cooked. Grill salmon, bake mackerel, pan sear sardines with lemon, garlic, and herbs. Canned wild-caught salmon and sardines work equally well. Add to salads, make salmon patties, or eat sardines with crackers and vegetables. Here's the framework, the triple one checklist. One food from three categories daily. Category one. One food that boosts fat burning, chili peppers, berries, or green tea. These nudge metabolism toward using stored fat. Category two, one food that stabilizes blood sugar, oats, lentils, apples, or resistant starch. These keep insulin steady, essential for accessing visceral fat. Blood sugar roller coasters trigger insulin spikes, locking fat into storage, these foods prevent that. Category three, one food that lowers inflammation. Extra virgin olive oil, chia seeds, flax seeds, fermented foods, or fatty fish. 
Chronic inflammation interferes with metabolism. These reduce inflammation and improve signals telling your body when to store or burn fat. Including one from each category daily helps your body operate in a metabolic state favoring fat burning. You're working with biology, not against it. Write this down or screenshot it. Keep it visible. This is your daily roadmap for healthy fat loss without complicated meal plans. If this helped you understand how your body works, if it gave you practical tools, do two things. First, hit the like button. This tells YouTube to share with more people needing this. Second, type yes in comments if you're trying at least one food this week. If you know someone struggling with weight or health, share this video. Sometimes one piece of right information creates massive change. Want more on exercise protocols, meal timing, or calculating calorie needs? Let me know in comments. I read every one and create content based on what you need. Your health is worth the effort. You don't need perfection, you need consistency. Small daily actions compound into remarkable results. See you next video. Keep putting one foot in front of the other, especially when you don't feel like it.